come on, Kenny. It wasn't like you to blame someone else. See what? Wasn't I close? Go over there. This way, right? They're gone, aren't they? I think so. He seemed to have his trunk. It's lucky he didn't see us, don't you think? Yes, but he must be the same type as Ichigo. He had he has incredible strength, but his powers of motivation are quite weak. There they are! Get them! Aaron! <laughs> Now, I know that we, we should keep moving, but the real question is, where do we go from here? Well, how about that way? I can see a tower in the distance. Yeah, where is it? Look, over there! Uh, Oron, watch out! I'm impressed you were able to touch me. At such a close range. Very good. If our paths did not cross this way, then perhaps you might have lived a little while. Orhan! You must run! No, you're wrong. I must not run. I've got to stay and fight. Otherwise, how can I save each of us? Shibaki! Hogan Sujun! I reject! I have never seen a move like that before. And yet, I sense no murderous intent when I try to attack. I assure you, it will have no effect whatsoever on Holy This is a battleground! And my you not fighting to kill! You'll never succeed in stopping anyone! Boy. If you want to face an attack with an intent to kill, Why not fight me? I'm sure you'll find it here in my boat. It's a thrill I'd love to give you. Ah, very interesting. So I guess that makes you a quince. You're right about that. Oh, it's totally different from the one I saw before. Both in its appearance. Even and even its spiritual presence, compared to the time he was battling her alongside each ago, he's becoming a completely different person. How oh, interesting! One uses an unfamiliar skill, the other is a Quincy, and both employ projectile weapons. And you have both come to this very place, at this very time to fight against me. So I don't call this an amazing coincidence. Oh, or a billion twists of fate. Either way, I must show you the true fun of my Zan Bakuto. Spread your ring, Tunzaki Gadasu. See how my countless blades dance through space? No one who has seen my attack has lived. Jesus, man. I bid you farewell and good riddance. You're not even worth a lemon tea. Yeah, no, you. uh, there's nothing to thank you for. You can have been turning on his own. And to think his master was killed to such a degree in only 10 days all by himself. Ooh, he is really incredible. Does this make me wonder? What did I accomplish in those 10 days? What's wrong, Rohan? It's nothing, Ari. I'm just fine, really. We 
Well, we better get moving over here. We've got places to go. Everybody, but by chance, have you seen a squad for our group? Oh, what? Ah! Hey, let's go. Oh, walk straight. Ah, excuse me. Uh, get your hands off me. Well, that didn't work out exactly like I planned. Ichigo, I think this is an idea that we can get ourselves out of this place. Is that right? We do. So you guys are trying to find a way to get out of this place? But why would you be trying to get away from here? Unless of course you'll be having to be the, the real cut everyone is so worried about. Back up you punks and let us through! What the hell are you idiots doing? Huh? What did it look like? We took a hostage. And see, did it look like he is one of us to you? Um, who are you? We're on the same side, but I'm squad 4 and they're squad 11. So, what difference does that make? I shouldn't bother explaining it to you, but it's much too insulting to have you lump us together. So listen up, we're squad, uh, we squad 11 are led by the strongest captain. As such, we are the strongest unit and they're always the first into battle. What's your squad again? Squad 4? It's a great squad to be in. Don't make me laugh. Squad 4 is just the, the rare Echelon service squad that provides first aid for minor injuries. Yeah, that's where all the loser wimps who can't even wield a sword get assigned. The rest of us can't stand the little weasels. So whatever you do, don't confuse them with us. Because it's when it comes to Squad 4, we hate them! If you want to kill this one, go right ahead. Wait a minute, don't you think it's kind of cruel commanding a death for someone just because they have diff different responsibilities? Hey, that almost makes sense. Hey, get him, let's go! Looks like we're in for a fight! <laughs> so, you're going to refuse to cooperate, eh? Well, we'll be able to... Well, we'll see how long that lasts, Ikaku Madarame. It's not that I won't talk, it's just that I really don't know anything. I don't know who the Ryoka are, and I have no idea what they're planning to do. 
so good you're telling me is that even though you met and fought against the mysterious invaders in the street, you defeated in battle and then just retreated like a dog with learning such a sh with learning a single set and useful information. I'm afraid so. It seems it may seem strange to you, but sometimes battle is like that. I've not seen this energy face, nor head, nor heard the voice. I'm so I am afraid I have no information for you. Do lie! And now you shall receive a punishment appropriate to your failure. Interesting. Since when I wonder, are you entitled to discipline members of the squad? Other than your own Mayuri. Well, since his captain is here, there's no need for me to continue this interrogation. Good luck getting anything out of him. Sorry, Zara. Is it true that you were defeated in battle? Yes, that is true. I'm ashamed to admit it. But I was defeated by the enemy and then was allowed to live. Is he strong? Yes, very strong. He appears to be a soul reaper. He has short orange coloured hair and carries a sword as long as his body. By now he is headed to a town called the Shinshimo Repetent Cell. I gave him a description and told him to be on the lookout for the captain. My warning about you did not seem to concern him. Regardless of you, of where you meet him, you will surely enjoy an excellent battle. And his name is? I am Hantaro Yamada. Dude, that name is so late. What are you talking about? I like my name. I'm most certain, it's, and it is most certainly not late. Why should I bother learning the enemy's name anyway? And why are you being so friendly and introducing yourself in the first place? Here's another question. What would you bring him for? I couldn't help it, okay? He 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 was sitting there, and I couldn't just pick. And I just picked him up and carried him by accident. I'm still screwed. Because even if that bold guy I beat up was telling the truth about Rukia being held in some white tower, we still don't know where it is or which road we need to take to go there. It's Rukia Kirichi you're looking for, isn't it? I thought so. It makes all, it all makes sense now. So the younger system of sort of scripts captain is currently being held as a captain offender. And that means the white tower you were talking about must be the repentant cell. If you trust me, I can help you. I know a way into that tower. I'll guide you to a repentant cell. Why are you doing this for us? Why should our mission be any of your concern? After all, we're still your enemies. I know more about you than you think. From listening to Rukia, she talks a lot about Ichiko Kurosaki. After Rukia was captured and before she was transferred to the Repetrin Soul, or the White Tower as you call it, she was held in a cell white with the squad six barracks. At the time, I was assigned to cleaning duty, uh, so I saw her when she was brought in. To be honest, I was scared of her at first. I mean, she is notably after all. But then, on the first day when I spoke to her, I could only speak her out of nervousness. So she told me not to address her formally. So I called her Rukia, and she thanked me for it. And her voice was so gentle. She was so much kinder than I expected her to be. It was such a relief to me. From that day on, my cleaning chores at the rags stopped being something I, I dreaded and became something more I actually 
look forward to. Um, little by little, Rukia started telling me all kinds of things. Rukia is the person who gave your soul legal powers to the same person you always mention in your stories about the world and the living. Forgiving what I've done to him. Rukia sounded so sad when she said those words. Sounds to me like there's Rukia one strange. Rukia's one strange story, but don't you think? Dunno. Yeah, she's something else. And that's why you're gonna that's why we're gonna rescue her. Because I only know when it's white, 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 right in. What? I only know when it's white, right in. Hey, stop! Where are you taking off to? Wait for me to go! Did I say something wrong? You're wrong, Rukia. All of this was my fault. I swear there's no way I'm gonna let you die, Rukia! Quest clear. Forty nine now. I'm gonna end. I'm going to end it here now. Goodbye, everybody.